Warriors. I'm Quentin. And I'm Berto. And welcome to WNN. We have weather. Today weather. we have weather. Is it hot or cold? Yes or no? Let's see. Welcome to weather. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi. Hi guys. I'm Emily Brown from WNN. Next week is pretty much all in the 90s, kind of lowers down, and by the Friday it hits the 80s, high 80s, so definitely put some sunscreen on. Sadie, the lunch lady. Who huh? is she again? Can't remember. Let's see. We went on vacation! I'm not really too sure what just happened, but if you guys think you can go on vacation without me, you're mistaken. I made you. I am the reason you're here. I'm Sadie the Lunch Lady. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I kind of blew up on you. I just thought I'd call and tell you guys the lunch specials just in case. On Monday of next week, we have the Buffalo Chicken Mac, and on Tuesday, we have the Nachos Deluxe. On Wednesday, we have the mozzarella mac sticks, um, and on Thursday, we have orange chicken with brown rice. And on Friday, it's the Nashville hot chicken tender strips. Someone went to a Miku concert. I don't know who that is. Miku? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Last week, I went to the Miku concert in the ASU Mola Arena. Here's what happened. Miku was indeed on a screen instead of being a hologram, which was disappointing, but it was still fun. Waiting in the merch line for two hours wasn't great, though, especially since they didn't bring enough at all, but I ended up getting a hoodie since that's what they had. Yeah. Miku wasn't the only member on stage. The whole cast was also present, including Meiko, Keito, the twins, and Luca. My personal favorite part of the show was when they were introducing the band members and they each played something on their respective instrument. At the end of the concert, I asked some people post-concert questions. How did you feel about today's Miku concert? I thought it was a lot of fun. The screen was a little supporting, but it was more that was in the crowd and everything, so... How did you feel about the songs that were played tonight? The songs were amazing, as always. I love Miku to death. How did you feel after, you know, finding out it was a screen and not like a hologram? It was like a teensy bit disappointing, but after seeing it, it was definitely just as cool. Overall, it was a fun experience, and I would do it again. We went to a CTE award show. I was there. I got two awards. Congrats. Let's go check it out. I didn't go. Hi, I'm Marlo Loria, and I'm the director for Current Technical Education and Innovative Partnerships. And the CTE Student Recognition Night is to recognize students who've completed a CTE program, um, either a two or three year program. Um, and those are, we have about 27 different programs, automotive, engineering, video production, graphic design. Um, and it's really a celebration of students sticking with the program and really starting to focus on kind of their talents and strengths and what they want to do with their future. Hi, I'm Mason Mayor John Giles, and I was excited to be part of the uh, the Mesa Public School CTE night tonight. This was a great night tonight. Uh, we celebrated a lot of uh, the, the, the graduation of CTE uh, students from Mesa Public Schools. There's a lot of different programs from video production to uh, working for the city of Mesa, all kinds of different programs. So this was great. I think about a thousand students came up and, uh, and they're well on their way to having great careers and, and uh, exploring what they want to do for careers when they grow up. So, great night. Congratulations to everyone that was involved. Had a song review from Ed Sheeran. Let's see how that went down. What is good, Westwood? It's your boy, Reese Torres, and I'm coming at you live right after I came here from the CT Recognition. Now, we had a special guest there tonight. Yeah, that's right. Your favorite ginger, your favorite songwriter, your favorite Harry Potter actor, Ed Sheeran. And I have some exclusive photos of him at the event that even TMZ has not found. Let's go check it out. More announcements for the students of this school. Let's see what we have to say. Do you have classes that you need to be on track with for graduation and credits? Well, for that, you can go to summer school. It may not be fun, but there's summer school. Any questions you need to ask? Ask Ms. DeLong. Need a better grade for scholarships? Check out... Nah. 
need a better grade for scholarships, want to take a class in advance, check out, the, check out in person summer classes being offered at Mountain View High School through the Community Education Program. Register online through the Community Education and Outreach Summer School programs. The first session is going to be on June 3rd to the 21st. The second session is going to be on the 24th through the through the 12th of July, my bad. And AM and PM sessions are available for most core projects. My secret technique is I like to talk to them a lot. I ask them about their favorite fast food place. What's your order at McDonald's? I personally enjoy in-person competitions because I like to get to know my friends and my opponents. Good morning students and faculty. Did you know that the yearbook comes out in less than a month? Crazy, I know. And uh, It says you still haven't bought one. The yearbook is coming out soon. On May 2nd to be precise. And you still haven't pre-ordered a book. What? Who's gonna sign your yearbook if it's non-existent? Who's gonna see all your beautiful pictures without a book? And what else are you gonna spend $79 on? Go to the bookstore today and pre-order your yearbook or get down on the ground and give me 20. Go, 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 go. Also, the yearbook team will be answering your questions about the yearbook and anything else you want next week. Submit a question and have it answered next episode by the yearbook team. Do you know how many days of school we have left? No, how many? Me neither. Let's check it out. All right. Ah, oh, finally. finally. I can catch a well-deserved well brick. Are you kidding? I'm trying to relax. Uh, hello? Who is this? Wait, really? 24 more days? That's right. 24 more school days before summer. So, get prepared because, well, Summer's gonna be coming pretty soon. So good luck to the rest of you during your school, and enjoy. Some guy with a petition did an Animal Crossing review. Let's check it out. I think he was Santiago. This game is pretty cozy. Tugging to our neighbors is cozy, fishing is cozy, catching bugs is cozy. You get the point. There's always something to do in this game. You work your way to Minecraft in your life, little by little, making progress every day. Just, that's really the, the main point of the game. Just a really pleasant slice of island life. There's seasonal events every now and then, but the replayability is fresh. But there is a lot of aspects of this game that I cannot possibly cover in a minute. Just know, I highly recommend this if you're looking for a cozy experience. Wait, is this zero? How did time for not having a study though? It worked! Oh, don't look at me like that, you know, missing with time over here. Oh yeah, I should give an exposition by the way. Um, by complete that's pretty much it. It's not rocket science. No wait, it is. What are you doing? Uh, time traveling the planet treasure. Don't mind me. What? I love breaking the space-time continuum. Wait for me. Well, that was WNN. I'm Quentin. And I'm Birdo. And remember, fear the spear. Fear the spear!